Setting up your store preferences is a crucial step when setting up your Ricochet account. This is where you'll set things like your tax rate, update commission splits, and submit your billing information. So start out by going to Preferences, then click on Admin. The first tab is Store Details. This is where you'll add your store information like phone number and address. Start by updating any info in the Details section, since many times stores may use their personal phone or email when creating their Ricochet account. If that's the case, make sure to update these fields to reflect the store phone number or store email. You should also confirm your time zone is correct and set your default split. This is the split that will be assigned to your consigner accounts by default. Now there are a few default splits available, but if you're not seeing your split listed, click the plus sign next to the split field and create your split. Next, add your store address to the address field. Addresses will be a necessary field when using the Ricochet web store to calculate shipping rates and will also be displayed on the top of your receipts. Below the address section are two toggle buttons. Aging on tags refers to consignment stores that have automatic discounts. If your store has a policy where items may drop 20% in price after 30 days or so, but would not like to display these dates and prices on the label, then you can toggle this off. If you have a store that does not use auto discounts, then don't worry about this option. The next option is the automatic consigner credentials email. If you're using the consigner or vendor login features, giving your consigners or vendors access to their own accounts, you do have the option of automatically emailing the consigners their login information. Toggling this option off means consigner login info won't automatically be sent to the consigner. The next section is registers. Ricochet does have the ability to have employees balance their tills at the beginning and ending of their day or shift. If you would like to use this feature, then toggle on the Use Registers button. This will then display the main register and a plus button to create multiple registers in case you do have multiple checkout stands. You can change the name of these registers, and when the register is turned on, you will see a Choose a Register pop-up when going to the point of sale screen. So we do suggest turning this feature on the night before or day of using Ricochet in your store. Next you'll have user roles. Here you can customize the user roles in Ricochet to best suit your store. The first thing we will mention is that this is a very comprehensive section of the software and it can be a little overwhelming. So please contact us if you'd like any help altering any of these user roles. The four user roles listed are Vendor, Employee A, and B, and Manager. We will note that vendor roles will have very limited options since the vendor login will only allow them to access their account. Primarily stores will be altering the employee roles. By default, both employee roles are given access to the point of sale screen, customers and suppliers and accounts, and the product screen. You can opt to give an employee role more access to consigner accounts or reports or maybe the web store in case you're using the web store add-on. Managers do have access to nearly everything in the system except for the ability to change vital information like sales tax or editing a sale. Clicking the black arrow in each section will expand the section to show all options available. Then you can toggle on or off the appropriate options for the role that you're updating. One thing to keep in mind is the option toward the bottom called Web Views. This allows your employees to be able to see sections in the navigation bar, like reports or your web store section. So most likely, this is the one that you'll be using most often. Like we mentioned before, please feel free to contact us before updating these user roles for any guidance. Next will be the Commission Split section. Here you will see all default splits or new splits created. You can also delete any splits you're not planning on using, 
editing split titles or percentages, and of course creating new splits. You will also be able to see the amount of consigners and items that are attached to each split once you've started adding items and consigners into the system. Best practice here is to clear out any splits you're not planning on using to streamline your account and inventory process. Next you'll have a taxes and policies section. You can start out by adding your state sales tax rate. You can also add multiple tax rates in case your state may tax certain items differently. The first tax rate will always be your default and make sure to add your tax rate as a percentage, not a decimal. Meaning if your tax rate is 6.5%, type 6.5, not 0 0.065. Next there will be the reward section. Ricochet is a very straightforward rewards plan that you can offer your customers. Customers can earn rewards points based on how much they spend in each sale. You can set a threshold amount, meaning the minimal amount a customer needs to spend to receive rewards points, and then the reward amount. Some stores may opt to do a 30 to 1 option, meaning whenever a customer spends $30 within a sale, they receive a dollar in rewards points. If they were to spend 90 in a sale, they would receive 3 things along those lines. Now this is an optional feature and we will cover in further tutorials so for now we'll just keep moving along. Next you can add a logo to your receipt. The thing to keep in mind with logos on receipts is that the thermal printer is extremely limited so logos uploaded need to be simplistic within a 200 by 200 pixel ratio and preferably all black. You can choose to use a grayscale logo, but the print quality may not be what you're looking for. Next, you can add your return policies for in-store and online purchases. The return policy will be displayed at the bottom of the printed receipt, and the web store return policy will show at the bottom of a receipt that is emailed to the customer after the online purchase. These text fields are not rich text editors, meaning you won't be able to change font, size, or add line breaks. The next tab is the Notification section. The Ricochet Go app, designed for your consigners or vendors to access their inventory through an iPhone or Android phone app, also allows for notifications. These notifications can alert when items have been sold, a payout has been processed, products that might have been expiring within a week, or a weekly sales and expire report. Toggling off these options will stop the notifications from occurring. Notifications will also be one of the only two sections that do not have a save button. And that's because the software will automatically save when a toggle button is changed. This will be the same with the user role section that we already covered. Finally, there will be account and billing. Here you can submit your payment information. Simply click activate your trial, choose your plan, and submit your payment info. Once you've activated your trial, you can come back to this page in case you need to update your payment information. This can be done by clicking the update plan and billing information button in the upper right hand corner.